you should be ready to code your eight by eight once you have it wired. We call this eight by eight basic because this is our first step in understanding how to code. When you bring up the project on make code, there are no blocks here. This is one of those things where the hardware needs some extension blocks. So click on advanced extensions, or again, keep in mind, you can always do the gear wheel extensions. And then you are going to type in here, max, A-M-X, 7219. And that will bring up the extension blocks that you need. You simply click on it, and now you have your blocks. OK, let's open these up. Basic block here for setup. Definitely going to need that. And then we have several blocks here for display. We'll talk about these in a little. You can control the amount of light, of course, brightness. Um, they're very bright, so you may want to actually lower the brightness level down from 15. We have some customization blocks. And then when you go to more, we could rotate the display. So whatever we have displayed on the face of it, we could turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. So that could be fun later on, but we gotta start with just getting the eight by eight to display something. So let's first tell it, tell the micro bit where we have it wired. So we need the basic setup block and this is great, it's done. We have number of matrix, we have one. Uh, you should have wired CS to P16. Um, so and DIN to pin 15, we're not using pin 14 and then clock CLK to pin 13. So. Yeah, done deal. Again, at this point, you may want to make it a little less bright. It will be pretty bright, but that's up to you. But let's just go ahead in there and throw that block in in case you want to mess with the brightness level. Okay. I'm going to set mine to five. Let's get the eight by eight to display something now. So display, let's go to the second block. And here's why. It has a little bit more functionality than the first. So it's already set here to say hi. So display text high, and it's going to start aligning it on the left. So it's going to start that high for the letter H will be in the very first column because my offset is zero. So this is why I picked this block because this is kind of fun. Uh, clear screen, um, sure, but right now we're just going to have it display. And if you only use this block, you will simply get the 8x8 eight eight to display the word high. And that's a great place to start you'll notice that my high was moving across the screen. So if you want to move it, that's what this offset is for. So maybe I would like it to say high, fill up the whole screen starting on the left side, and I'll let it display high for maybe 200 milliseconds, but then I wanna move it. So this offset just shifts the words down one column or two if you want to jump a column or three you can set how much you want the high or whatever word you've spelled out to move across the eight by eight for you try it again you can just start with this just to get it working to make sure it says hi and then you can play with this a little bit and see if you can get it to not just say hi but to actually move across the screen or scroll across the screen this code works i've made it scroll across the screen it's just a lot it's a lot of blocks and really it's just one thing that's variable i just want to move the hi one place so let's set up a variable. So under variables, I've actually already created one. I've called it index, I-N-D-X. And then that gives me some options to make this a little more concise. So let's get rid of all these extra blocks and really just worry about making a nice, precise code to move the high across the screen. There we go. So now, this is basically what I want. I just want to change this one little variable here. So we are going to set the index here to zero to start with. And then we want to change the index by one. This doesn't quite work though. And the reason it doesn't work is because 
it doesn't know how many columns to move. So it's just going to keep moving it. And so we have to tell the uh, micro bit, look, there are only eight columns. It's an eight by eight. So we need to go under this um, loops. There we go. We've used this before. So four index. Now notice it says one to four, or I'm sorry, it says zero to four. We have more than four. We have column zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for a total of eight columns. There we go. So forever, the index is zero to seven. That's eight columns. Display high, offset zero. Mm, no, we don't want that. We want to offset based on the we don't want just zero. We want the range of variables zero through seven. There we go. Okay. So for the index, which is columns zero through seven, display high, and then offset the index zero through seven. And we're going to want to actually, I think, change these two blocks here. Okay. So now change it by one. So change the index by one. And uh, we're going to pause the changing by 200 milliseconds. So it's going to go across the screen pretty fast. Download it and see if it works.